what's up guys? We're with Gerald here at Gander RV and he's taking me around with the golf cart. We're going to look at a couple of Class A's that we'll get either now or when we get back from Philippines uh, so that we can have a little more space. Gerald, how you doing today? Good, man. Good. good. It's good. a good day. Blessed day, man. Blessed right day. Alright, let's do it. right now, a place called Bohol Island. Yeah. Uh, we stay up here, we're here just on some business, and paperwork, visa, documents, as V family all knows, we're gonna get that stuff knocked out and head back to the Philippines pretty soon. Nice. Uh, nice. But we wanted to see, I saw that from the backside, and I said, I told everybody we're gonna look at that one tomorrow. Is that the one we're looking at? Well, we're gonna go look at it. Yeah. It just does, it, it doesn't have the bunk houses, but we're gonna go take a look at it, because it is a sweet unit, man. Okay, this is the one, all right. That's the one I was talking about and showed you yesterday from the back. And we're gonna go see the inside. Oh, it does it has large pop outs. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. All right. What what year is this? It's a uh, 2014. It's a 14. Yeah. Okay, I have a feeling this one's like one of those high end, but a little bit older models. Let's check it out. Tag axle. Okay, tag axle. The battery's undone. Oh, oh, Drop down step. Okay. But as you can see, this is like. A real deal living room right here. And oh my. Look at this very, very comfortable driver's seat. Is this a 45 footer? This is a 42. 42? 42. 42 DEQ. Oh man. 42 feet. That's big. That's a full living room. You can you can you can live comfortably in one of these. Look at this, you got a little slide out right here. This mm -hmm. comes out. Okay, a little island slide out, that's awesome. A little island there. Full convection mic and a full refrigerator. This is what oh, yeah, we're really missing with all of them. Yeah, right? We got four kids. So uh, yeah, it's uh, tough with the little mini fridge we got now. Let's go back into this area here with the double sink. Oh my goodness. Micah, you're not here with me, but I know you're gonna love that. And that's a queen size bed? Is that a king? Oh, that's a king. It's a king. Yeah. All right. King size bed in here. Camper. That's awesome. You know? And the closet space. Yeah, that's what Mike is talking about. She's definitely missing some closet space. And this definitely has it. Oh, man. In the washer and dryer. What? Oh, yeah. That's a big problem on the road with, with a family of six also. Laundry. Oh, my laundry, goodness. Laundry. Laundry. Yep. 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 All right. Check out the bathroom. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's another thing is my big butt don't like to fit in that little shower. And this has a good size shower with the glass enclosure. So that's pretty camera? cool. No, I've had several. Awesome. 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 This has so many buttons here. You don't even know what's going on. What, what is this? Brother, this thing right here? This right here operates your fan. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a high-tech fan right there. It sure is. It starts <laughs> raining. It closes up. Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. Moderate the ceiling. If it gets too hot, too moist, it'll crank on. Hmm. Interesting. And there's some additional cabinetry right here, like pantry space. Wow. Wow. Do you guys see how big this is? you see how big it is? It's, oh, my goodness. Is that the engine you fired up? Yeah. Yeah, you just fired up the engine on here. I got a fireplace too. My goodness. Heated floors. Heated floors? Yep. Oh, wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. But this is a 2014, so it's getting a little bit older. How many miles does this bad boy have on it? 43. 43,000. Lightly used. That is lightly used for a big diesel pusher. What, what kind of diesel has it got in it? It's got a 450. The 450 Cummins? Yep. 450 Cummins. That's a pretty good engine there. Some backup cam action. Oh my goodness. We're gonna drive her home today? Yep. What do you think, guys? <laughs> if I showed up with this instead of that, she'd kill me. She'd love me and kill me at the same time. Let's see, what's the, what's the stove look like? Two burner, big two burner gas stove right here. And is this actual granite? Corian. Corian, right on. It's a Corian, very nice material. Similar to a granite. Turn the cabinet space there. And Got this, this slides out into another bed, I mean, into another seat right here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you can make it kind of a, make it a bigger sectional. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And does this fold out into a bed as well or no? Oh, yeah. It does? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. So there's another bed right there. Oh, yeah. So that is like Gerald was saying that he's going to show me another one that has a bunkhouse because we just have so many people that this one would be tight as far as sleep area goes. I mean, I'm sure Tito wouldn't mind sleeping on the floor, but it'd be nice to have him a bed. How many kids did you say you had? Four kids. Four, Four kids. kids. And my wife. Wow. Yep. All right. I need some of that mojo, man. I only got one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working. I try uh, hard. Every day. Every day. <laughs> so this is a beautiful, beautiful camper, but I think that the, the sleeping area is going to be the biggest holdback on this one. So let's uh let's go let's go see the other. I think it's called the Berkshire. Recording, that's right. All right, wasn't even recording here. Okay, so this one, the bunks, uh, the slides aren't popped out yet, so it doesn't look near as big, but uh, but it's definitely a, a large unit as well. A lot of cabinet space up top. A little kitchenette with the love seat, and then a separate couch. And as we move towards the back here, excuse me, Drew. This is the bunkhouse. Oh, that's cool. Whoop, let me just pass this right here. There's a little, little mini storage pantry and huge refrigerator. Look at that bad boy. That is a very big fridge. Let me go back in here. We got the two bunks. I'm seeing a Vasilia Valentina bunk right there. And then back here, it's just got the queen size bed. Is that a full size? A little small. Hmm. But it does have a good size shower. The shower has the glass enclosure. That's nice. Okay. Also has the the nice big island. Does it have a two burner as well? Let's see. That's a little bit bigger. It has a three burner. Like already. Big sink area i like the bunks but i like the other one a lot better um it's just a little bit older and that's concerning gerald and i were just talking about uh units and i was like you know i'd really like to have the four bunks in the back with the king size bed and so forth and he goes man you need a prevost and i said yeah but you know those prevosts with the with the pop outs and all that that are newer and nicer those are like one million dollars How about this blue Georgetown? What's that about? Oh, that's customs. Is it? Yeah. It looks like it has bunks too. You don't have one of those? Nah. That's pretty much the only two that we have, and then that's the one with the. Uh... Gotcha. Right. RV sales have been really hot, no? Oh, yeah. Like they're going, everyone's living their bucket list now. It's like COVID, like let's get an RV and roll. Yeah. It's just like. You figure families are. Uh... Spend 15, 20 grand going to Europe and uh, right. Oh, that too. Instead, right. instead of that, they're like, hey, let's throw 15, 20 down on a on a RV camper and yep, head to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Right. So right. Got that as well. Yep. Oh, all right. Well, thanks for your time today, showing us the couple that you got. We're gonna we're gonna debate a little bit. I'll talk to the wife. I'll show her this video right. and see what everybody thinks. And have God a good bless day, you guys. See you.